Oh, we are. <laughs> Yeah, we should. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yes. I I am I'm awesome. I'm fantastic. It's a beautiful day. Happy to be at work with you, hanging out, modeling some pretty cool stuff in SketchUp. So couldn't ask for more. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got comments coming in saying no audio. Tyson, no audio. Tyson, no audio. Audio, Tyson, no audio. Muted, muted, muted. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, can people hear me? Okay. Um, If you can... Okay, we're gonna try again. Technology. Is the audio right, coming through this time? Are we are we on? Are we live? Uh, we should be. Based? Okay. <laughs> See, what would a live be without without something? Okay. It, you know what? Okay. I, hopefully, this is working. And and I don't mind owning up that like how ridiculous is it? We've been doing this for a couple of years. And I was just telling Donovan, like, of course there's no audio. I didn't plug my mic in. I was like, when we do this and you're like, I, I don't have a formal checklist, probably should. Thanks all. Thanks for bearing with us. <laughs> so, I, I feel actually really silly for that. Let's get into what we're doing because, oh, good grief. What a painful start. Oh, uh, okay. People uh, are calling it a special, start. special uh, start. You guys are very generous. And of course, Transom coming in with his uh, enthusiasm over our inability to <laughs> not mess something up. He says, yay, operator malfunction. Oh, every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is why you keep coming back, right? Every week, every Friday, we do this. And it's always it's always fun. So I I thought you were gonna say every week you got to come back and see what mundane obvious mistake you're gonna make this time. Speaking of coming back every week, uh, we have people coming in from all over the world. We got people from France, Toronto, Shout it out. Syria, from the Pacific Northwest, from Newfoundland, from Norway, from the Netherlands. Uh, some people, this is their first time. <laughs> if, this is, if this is your Ooh. first time uh, coming to our live, uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the live for all that it entails, good, bad, and otherwise. And we Huge got people coming up. to us from all platforms, YouTube, Facebook, uh, X, 
whatever everything is called now. Uh, so welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody. <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you. A huge shout out. I was, I was flipping through a few of these images while you were reading that out. Um, thank you, everybody who comes in. I want to say, yes, for anyone who knows this is your first time, I want to say, don't worry. It's not this hectic every time, except for that'd be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yep. I it's totally. Okay. <clears throat> what this, um, this is, what we're going to be modeling less so the interior we probably won't get to the interior of this little uh but what what we're modeling is uh internally because there's a few of us who do these on fridays we're saying hey what's something that we we could all try and do that's similar just as uh something we could try and it was hey everybody go pick a an airbnb uh that looks interesting so aaron did uh an acorn based one last week and this this is one of two or three uh these houses that is literally just hanging off of a cliff and i thought wow that is very cool so this and i am going to use basically just this image we won't be doing um i don't have any measurements i don't have any plans i don't have anything about this um just to give it credit this is the Sandstone Drifter Cliff House on Airbnb. Uh, it seems very cool, but I'm gonna take this image right here and try to do something, we'll call it inspired by, similar to, something like that. So keep this image in mind, I'll, I'll pop it up every now and then. That's what we're gonna try for today. Um, so if that looks, well, first of all, uh, let me let me leave this for a second. Well, I'll bring up a bigger version. Um, I want to like this is always I I ask this question. Uh, I hope what uh, what would you do? I know some people out there are are very fluent. Uh, some people some you know if you sketch it for a while. How would you approach this? What do you think, Donovan? Do you have any initial ideas? Um, I would first try to find a point of reference to something that I could draw dimensions off of, whether it's a, a board, a rock, uh, the width of a walkway, like something that I can reference off of that I know the dimensions of that I could then build out from there. I, I do this in video games all the time uh, because I, I build things in real life that I find in, in video games. And so I have to have... I have to figure out what the dimensions of these things are. And I usually have like a pixel reference of, Hey, I know this thing is four feet tall. And so compared to, you know, thing a, I can then, you know, justify how big thing B will be. Yeah. So that, that would be my, my first step. It'd be like, okay, what can I recognize in here that I roughly know the dimensions of, and then kind of go from there. Good call. Good call. Let's do People it. People are saying I'd pay someone else to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> can, is that still an option? Can I do that right now? Donovan, here's 10 Remco bucks. Take over. Probably a match photo nightmare. Oh, I would. Yeah, you're not kidding. Match photo would not be. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, I'm going to start by drawing uh, this door. We'll, we'll, We'll draw a generic door, then we'll draw this face uh, roughly based on that. And then we'll create a set of kind of general slopes, I think, and kind of get the general idea of this. And then we'll reverse engineer this. Usually, obviously, the stone's been here a lot longer. We would start with that. But in this case, we're going to make the stone work for the house that we draw. So something like that. Let's let's try it out. <clears throat> Some of these comments in the comment section. If you don't delve into our live comments, you really should. There is so much beautiful commentary that goes back and forth between us and the commenters and you know each other. So this it's it's fantastic. Nice. A lot of people are saying start with the door. Good place to start. Perfect. We're gonna start with that door. So Ty's there's a the door. suggestion is to start at the beginning and when you get to the end, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, 
your wisdom is ageless buddy <laughs> that's 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 like you know ski that way if something's in your way turn see if uh, see who knows that reference go that way if there's something in your way turn let's see if anybody oh man do you know that one? Oh man well when you first started saying it i thought it was firefly but uh no I, I'm not quoting it exactly correctly. I'm sure I'm I'm messing it up a little bit, but it sounds Galaxy Quest-ish. Well, it's wrong, it's but... skiing. It's referencing skiing. Go uh, downhill. Psalm Thirty-one says ski school. No, and again, I apologize. I'm probably quoting it poorly. Um. Probably not doing a good job of uh, representing it, but that's all right. See if anybody remembers. See anybody remember the the uh, spoofy movie Better Off Dead? Oh my gosh, Better Off Dead. I know better off Ted. <laughs> yeah. Better off dead. Better. I gotta look it up. John Cusack. Okay, I never saw that one, so I. Okay. Better off dead. <laughs> Some to add to the list. Some that. Have you ever been uh, in a house like this before? One no. Like built into built into rock. Uh no. This this looks incredible here we'll pull it up again i like i'm trying to imagine staying here it looks just like an absolutely because the whole thing not only is it built off a cliff then there's this whole valley down into a gorge it's it's right on the side of this whole valley gorge um area so you're just uh it looks just absolutely uh amazing to place to stay so all right, there's our basic, we'll call that. So let's set that aside over here and then let's build out. Um, a house-ish looking shape. A house-ish looking shape. Let's make this eight feet that the patio is going to be. And um, we're going to introduce some arbitrary angles in here, right? So this comes across, this comes out uh, at some angle from the rock. Then these go up. They're not going up perpendicular. They're, you know, then they turn over here and back up here. Those probably are not. So we'll just, like I say, we're just going to make it up as we go. It's going to end up being whatever it is. And that's why the cliff is going to be drawn based on whatever we whatever uh, arbitrary stuff we decide here yeah keggy did point out that technically it's built on a rock and not in a rock and i concede uh yes it is built on a rock um one of the reasons why i said in a rock <laughs> is because like i'm i'm from montana i'm from uh, a valley in the mountains and there are quite a few houses like especially old houses back in the mining mining times where they would build the facade of the front of the house like on the side of the rock and then they would would mine back into the rock and so i've been in houses where mm. you know you walk into an entryway and then there's like a threshold where the rest of the house is literally carved out of the rock it's like it's so amazing so when i saw this i my mind went back to houses being built in rock so when i put together the the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. And I, uh, yeah, I, I said in a rock and not on a rock, but it got you to be here either way. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. I, win. I, I know Keggy's right, but just to be obstinate anyway, what if this ha what if this goes back into that rock? You can't see it. You don't know how much they dug back into that rock. What if these <laughs> stairs were dug into it? What if that, huh? What about that? I was being dumb. But yeah, but it's keggy. So, so yeah. <laughs> I sound like my kids. 
Just throw it out there. We'll throw it right back. That's right. <laughs> All right, here's some of our arbitrary angles we're going to make up. We'll make these stairs go off at like a 30 degree angle off this way. Now, um, for the stairs, if anyone out there, I, I will be curious because I immediately thought of, oh, if I build this, this would be a really good opportunity to finally learn and wrap my head around a, an extension called Profile Builder. I did not. I would love to... I think it would work, but if anybody out there is pretty good at Profile Builder and you look at how this um, this railing works, I think Profile Builder would work for this, but um, maybe there's enough variation in the size of these panels that it would be tricky. I don't know. We're going to use the native tools. I would have liked to have tried Profile Builder on it, but I, I still don't know how to use that extension. It's super deep and, and powerful um, and as of yet elusive to me. So we need to create, um, let's uh, make our stairs three feet wide. And for now, how about three feet by 15 feet? So is a house still a house if it doesn't have a foundation? This has a foundation. It's just a foundation built like house on stilts is still a house, right? Yeah. Well, because it's like I watch I watch this so the Nelson's tree houses, the guy that on Oh yeah. Uh, on the D DIY channel, HGTV, HGTV. Um, that builds these they're houses. They're not tree houses. They're like they're houses that happen to be built in and or by trees. And I'm like, would you still call this a house if it was, it's not a tree house because it's not anchored at any point to a tree. It doesn't look like from the, from the pictures, but if it's anchored to a rock, is it still a, is it a house? Is it a rock house? Like, how would you classify this? <laughs> the only reason why I asked is because, you know, you're talking about stairs. I'm like, well, what is the, you know, what are regulations for stairs and houses? And it's, you know, six to seven inch risers, 22 inch, you know, minimal width, all that kind of stuff. But I'm like, if you're getting technical, like if this isn't classified as a house, does it still have to abide by, you know, standards? I don't know. I'm just talking out loud. You know? I assume. No, I, I, I had the same questions. I'm like, this is kind of an interesting case where. Do, are there regulations that cover some of the unique ways in which this is built and like the supports are tied to the rock and uh, yeah, no, I, I have some similar questions. Yeah. Andre says with the amount of planks and slats that have different lengths, how do you plan to do all this? That's what we're here to find out. <sighs> I, External cave. <laughs> I plan to drag you all painfully through meticulously drawing every single one. So, Buckle in. Yep. Buckaroo. Speaking of segue, uh, <laughs> Kegi challenges you to only use native tools and no saving, which if you haven't saved already would be a good moment to do so unless you want to take that challenge. I have not saved already. Um, we could try. I'm, I'm running in SketchUp 2024. I've installed a, just a few extensions. So the we could see how how crash uh, prone we are going to be. I don't know that that swimming in dangerous waters indeed. Transom says, "Don't save." <laughs> don't save. Okay, let's. Uh... <laughs> Let's let's live dangerously for a while. If if Aaron's out there, he's like, "No, you fool! No, you! F what are you doing? <laughs> Don't take the bait, <laughs> dummy!" <Yeah. laughs> uh huh. So people uh, are talking about extensions. Like, what extensions would you use on a model like this if you didn't use extensions? I mean, if you did use extensions, I'm going to use at least one, yeah. uh, uh, to, to help 
make the um, rock face, which we'll do in a bit. Uh, I'm going to use Topo Shaper, but I could use, I, I easily can show that we could use the native um, make uh, mesh from contours. Yeah. Topo Shaper is going to give us a nicer, con uh, nicer mesh. Um, oh man, what I wish, what I, what you would obviously really use if you were in this situation is ideally you'd go out there with a, some sort of laser scanner and scan that whole rock face and be able to have very accurate data to build towards. So yeah, then I'd be yeah. using scan essentials, but I can't, I'm on a Mac scan essentials. It's windows only, which is, that's uh, a bummer. Other people are in encouraging you to tr <laughs> to not save as well. Oh wow! Uh, somebody chimed in and said, "Everyone needs a Notre Dame Notre Dame moment." <laughs> I, everyone needs a Notre Dame moment. Uh, uh all right. Marty on X is asking, uh, "Can you use?" Scanning to estimate scale, yes. Yes, yes. I'm not sure what, I mean, you can use, if you had scan data, you'd have absolute, uh, very highly accurate. Um, yeah, absolutely. But I, I'm not sure that's, and that's the question you're asking. Speaking of X and LinkedIn and uh, and other platforms, if you're watching this on it, if you if you have any technical difficulties or if you want to uh, click away from that, you can always come join us on YouTube on the SketchUp channel. It's YouTube.com/slash/at/SketchUp and uh, and join us there. A lot, most of the uh, the conversations we have going on that we respond to, questions that you guys put out that we answer, uh, a lot of them come from that that youtube comment section so if you're not already there uh, be sure to come check us out good good shout out um again i'm, I'm kind of doing this arbitrarily as far as you know how many steps is this one yeah it looks like that and then we'll cut back Definitely can't have a fear of heights staying in this house. No, that'd be a terrible idea. Um, also, you need to, I didn't show, like there's two of these houses and to get to both of them, there's this 200 plus step bridge. In fact, I, I'm gonna show it just because it is impressive. Okay, so here's the one that's just down the way. This was the first one built. And if you look at the, set of stairs that you got to climb to get up to this one and then over to the other one uh amazing and uh Ooh, get your steps is that in just cabling yeah wow oh you know what um <clears throat> yeah can you imagine that it's a yeah it's a suspension bridge just held up by cables that are running from like a tree to something we can't see behind us I was laughing when I was looking at this. I know Donovan, you'll, you'll probably relate to this. Um, if anyone out there has ever played a Spider-Man video game, then you know that Spider-Man's real ability in any game is that he can zoop, zoop, shoot his, whip his little uh, web to nothing. You don't actually have to swing off a building if you play a Spider-Man video game. You get to just- Are you talking about the PS2 game? <laughs> I'm talking about, yeah. Like so many games, you just you you just swing anywhere you want. You just and I, and it feels like that. It feels like what what's this hanging from? This isn't hanging from anything. That's what it makes me think of. But anyway, uh, it's an impressive. Like you gotta climb all these steps to get up to this spot, and then you're taking another little bridge over to the one that we're modeling. It makes me wonder how many people rented this, thinking it looks so cool, not realizing the amount of steps. 
and then halfway up those cable steps being like oh i pay for it i gotta keep going oh right <laughs> you did it My cat's saying hello. Sorry if you heard that in the background. <laughs> I didn't. Just say hello louder. All right, so that's... I feel like this one probably... These are probably still angled back a little bit. Make it just... Eight degrees, and we'll make this. We'll go up a little higher. Because we can. Uh, people are asking uh, the name of this place so they can look it up on Google Earth and check it out. Um, I did a quick look on Google Earth. It, this is in Kentucky in the Red River Gorge, I believe. I didn't find it. Um, I didn't look that hard. some of the pictures, it looks like it's under an overhang, so I don't know how good a shot you'd be able to get looking at a topo map of it. Oh, it, this one is less so. This other one is definitely, like, it's, it's, uh, you can see how it absolutely is, uh, under this underhang. But, again, if, uh, this one, I didn't find an address. This is just called a sandstone drifter is what they're, you know, they're self-naming it. Um, but it's in Campton, Kentucky, which if you look at that surrounding area, it's just beautiful. There's some national park that's just incredibly beautiful area. Um, stunning, stunning uh, place. So if you do find it, yeah, shout out. It's just west of Rogers, which is west of Campton. Okay. So if you're looking on Google Maps and you go to Campton, Kentucky, go west of Campton, Kentucky, you hit Rogers, and in between Rogers and Highway 11, it looks like, is, is this house. Cave nice. Hollow Road. If you're curious. <laughs> Which people saying hi. Hi, Tyson. Hey, hey. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> Uh, if you're just coming in, the challenge for today is a bunch of stairs and apparently no saving. So don't <laughs> fall and don't crash. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I... I can look at it this way. If a cra catastrophic crash does happen, I could just make a YouTube short out of it and we can all laugh about it later. <laughs> At what, uh, if it does happen, what we have to see is like how invested are we, depending on how far we get to be like, you know, okay. Oh, well, uh, we enjoyed it. Toss it uh, versus try to start again and do anything like, you see what everybody's psychological, uh, I don't know, temperament for pain is. Anyway. James on S X is asking how you create stairs. Um, a lot of this process he's, he's showing. Um, He's going to uh, extrude out a lot of these these 
shapes that he's uh that he's making right now that are gonna gonna be stairs but right now he's just getting the the angles and the shapes done so that when, then we can extrude them into the stairs that they'll ultimately end up being yeah um good good summary this is definitely just a let's let's make sure that things are kind of placed correctly which they're not based on the photo i think this needs to be a little bit higher a little bit farther over so let's Make this a little bit more this way. Pull this whole thing. But yeah, let's let's get a basic framework in place that looks something similar-ish. Because again, we're just making something close-ish to what this looks like. Uh, and then we'll try and get into some of the details, but certainly this is a component and we, uh, we pull up our stairs, start to, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. This, I think, I don't know. Should we leave it as this, leave it as is. I think the actual one, this one sits a little more forward. Our stairs probably, but let, let's call this good, and we'll, like I say, we're going to make our cliff kind of conform to whatever we did here, so it won't be quite like the original one. But let's take this, say that's good. Got this. I'm just going to group this for now. And uh, build an arbitrary stone wall to hang it off of And I think I'm just going to draw a line here. Let's see why in a moment. Okay. Because uh, I'm I'm going to use the freehand tool to start drawing some contours and uh, uh. some improvements to the freehand tool means that it actually stays on uh on plane better but i i still will feel better if i have kind of a surface to draw on so in this case this is the we'll draw the section of the wall so that's going to go something like this let's say it comes back and forward and then it comes really close here and then it kind of comes up and then spins out over here. All right, so that's one version. And I'm going to group this and then use it as a reference for our next version. So let's pull this up another, let's say, 10 feet or so. And this time, mm. I'm going to draw this again and just use this as, like I say, so using the, our existing line and conforming to how this one, our slope's going to be kind of pulling back away, which is, like I say, not exactly how. So something like that, and then it comes in. Global on X is asking, how about using AI tools to uh, get a scale and layout quickly from just using photograph? Ah, that's a good idea. Um, a lot of what we do here on the lives is just practicing modeling uh but there are some pretty pretty amazing ai tools out there right now where you can just drop a picture in and it can it can give you give you some rough measurements to then you know base a model off of but. um definitely if we were trying to do this accurately yeah throw out everything i'm doing here this uh 
This one looks kind of, I'm just gonna mirror this one. Do something very similar. Interesting. There's so many things that you do when you model that I'm like, why did you do that? But then I, I've come to realize that I just need to wait a moment because it'll all make sense eventually. Uh, I hope so. Would it be uh, kind of fun and ironic if we get just just to the place where this will all all uh, come to fruition and then it crashes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be hilarious? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, that'd be terrible. Um, yeah. So I, I'm just like I say we're making this up. I'm just giving us a reference from the last one and kind of where the next one, especially for the house. So. see this one's gonna come right close to there something like that colin from uh linkedin is asking about a lofting tool whether we have a lofting tool in the program i'm not um, sure what that what that is or what that would be uh, a lofting tool is a tool that will take something like as a very simple example a square and conform it to um a circle right so it would it would create kind of the geometry necessary to take that square and and you can use it by having multiple shapes if you imagine this and in fact uh so to answer the question there is a tool but it's not a native tool it's an extension um but yeah, if you imagine trying to create a, a whole geometry that would go from this one, this shape, to this shape, to this shape, that's a lofting tool. We're going to be doing something similar-ish using over here. But uh, what you want to look for as the curve aloft extension from Fredo is the... Uh, and, and help me out, there might be other... There, there's other tools that will do some other things similar, but I think most directly a lofting tool would be curve aloft. Fredo does seem to have the uh, market cornered on some of the most useful extensions within SketchUp. Guy's a crazy genius. Yeah, yeah he does. He, he's amazing. And he's a ghost. He does exist for real life. <laughs> a few people have met him, but he he likes to just put the these amazing extensions out there. Um, but uh, not too many people have ever seen him. Okay. All right. We're getting, we've got the, the framework for our house. So now we just need to kind of round off our top and give ourselves a little bit of a valley below. And hopefully this will work where, where I'm headed. Otherwise. <clears throat> it will be great. Yeah. We shall see. Randy looked it up and it's called the Sandstone Drifter in the Red River Gorge. Uh, and I I suggest that we need to have a team offsite here, Donovan. Right. What do you think? Right. It is uh I don't I wouldn't say it's very central to most of the team but if you uh take matt into consideration yeah we can we can call it central <laughs> right 
All right, we're going to draw that a little kind of, or basically need some stuff to curve this off. That should give us. So you just move you up some distance and you And same thing down here. See, I knew if I just waited, what you were doing wouldn't make sense. Uh, I still reserve the right for it to all fall apart. Something tells me some people in the audience are kind of hoping that happens. <laughs> well, <clears throat> place your bets. Especially once we run an extension. Even I might bail out and be like, no, I'm too scared to do this. All right, we've got Have all you tried of... Topo Shaper yet in the 2024 build? Uh, yes, but it was on a simpler version, simpler object than this. Okay. So, we shall see. All right, that's our cliff side, right? Okay. Um, one thing that Topo Shaper, um, typically it, you know, it works from the top down. Um, in fact, let's, uh, hold on. I want to copy these a known distance so I can easily bring them back. So let's just say this is 500 feet. You know what? 200 feet. Two times. Cause we'll show uh example so anyway if we take this uh this is gonna probably let's just for an example so let me come in ungroup these there's our contour lines if we go to the native tools and we use the uh where's uh We need the sandbox tools. These are native, at least to the desktop version. And uh, we need um, Topo Shaper. So the sandbox tools, if we select that and run sandbox tools, um, it works really quickly. We get a mesh. Sandbox tools triangulates between points. And one thing we could do if we said, does that work fine for us? Uh, it might, we can tilt, turn this uh, 90 degrees and see if it works any better. But um, you can see, you know, it, it, it's a mesh, it's messy and uh, would work in a, in a pinch, but not not great so, so we needed to do right yeah but it's, it's not great if we take the same um geometry and let's just try it as is but i think we'll get better results if we turn it 90 but let's just take it as is and this time we'll use topo shaper instead of just triangulating between points uh we're we're Living dangerously. We broke it. Uh oh. I wonder. Oh, oh no. I wonder. Oh, that's just in the extension, right? Yeah. Okay. We, we didn't actually crash SketchUp, but I. We're, you know. We're trying to. Let's try this way and see if, and I ungrouped it. Let's just see. Come on, work, work. Why, 
Why okay, good. Does that make a difference? <clears throat> so what, what Topo Shipper wants to do is create a quad mesh. So it creates that sort of a projected quad mesh. Um, I don't know this tool well enough to like go in and, and tweak the results, but let's just go ahead and calculate the terrain. Uh, that's the preview. I'm going to say, yeah, just give it to me. And if we look at this, pull it over here. And if we look at the geometry, you can see it's just, it, it's nicer from straight on from down. You can see like how it takes uh, quads and just sort of meshes it. So for steeper parts here, um, they're, you know, they're more slanted, but this is why turning it made a difference. Otherwise we'd have, um, I think it's, just, it, it like, it wants to work from the top better. So yeah, let's, uh, let's roll with that. Interesting. I don't know if we'll need that. And now I've lost, you know, the, uh, it won't matter. We'll just move it back close, it, close enough. Lost sort of where it was going to go, but. Yeah, the native terrain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. That's the way it's going to sit on our. On our hill. A uh, little graveyard. I'll just move these out of the way. Uh, of course. Wouldn't be a Tyson model without a graveyard, right? That's right. That's right. I don't want to commit to deleting them, which we don't need them anymore. Should just delete them. But why not just set them aside and create a cluttered up model? That's, <laughs> that's, how, that's how we roll. Okay, <laughs> what's next? All right, now we get to have fun and do some details. So if we look again at our, our image, some of this will be pretty straightforward, right? We can just add some trim, uh, create some windows, the door, create these roofs. This stuff's fairly straightforward. The fun, of course, will be in actually building out details in the steps. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, we'll do a, a few easy wins with uh, a few windows and then we'll start seeing if we can uh, make these steps work looking at this i'm assuming that top section is just a bed i believe that's correct and the bottom section is like living room kitchen maybe kind of hard to tell from that picture but Right. <clears throat> and it does have a restroom. It's fully plumbed, actually, which is pretty remarkable, too. Transom is asking if they're mag love buildings. I'm not sure what those what that means. <laughs> you mean like floating levitation buildings? You mean like the future? We're living in the future. I don't know if that's oh, what he's asking okay. either. I, okay. I'm... Yeah, or or is it, are you talking like, can these, um, you know, put these on a train track and it's a bullet train? Isn't that, isn't that the technology used for? Yeah. Magnetics. Yep. For very fast trains. <laughs> Have you been on a, on a bullet train? No, but you, you, lived in uh was it taiwan uh-huh so i presume you have yeah well i mean it wasn't like the french bullet train but it was a train that went scary fast scary fast i mean it was only scary fast if you looked out the window and realized how fast you were going when you were in it you're like oh this is pleasant and then you look outside you're like we shouldn't be going this fast so as long as you don't <laughs> look out the windows you're fine 
but aren't there windows all over? Like to, to not look yes. out the window, you have to <laughs> yeah. be like, <laughs> here's you my backpack and I'm just put, put it over my head. <laughs> yep. It was my favorite form of transportation when I lived in Taiwan. That's awesome. Trains. Yeah. Where did my door go? I erased it somehow. Oh, oh. There's no way to get inside now. Or did you? Uh, it's too oh, late. Yeah. No, we're stuck. Stuck. There's no no way to to recover from that. So if someone wanted to, uh, Ahmad says if someone wanted to go to the bathroom, they have to go up and down the stairs. I, think so. I I don't think so. I think there might be facilities in each of these, but or oh, yeah. the facilities might just be in the lower one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, like I say, I volunteer to stay here and <laughs> you tell you. I absolutely volunteer as tribute. I will stay here for a couple days and let you all know. <laughs> so, uh, Aaron, you can expect that expense report very soon. <laughs> Um, I am building this out without, uh, um, as, as a shell, however we want to describe this model, I'm not building it with a interior thick walls, which I really should, even if I don't plan on building out the interior, because then at least it would have that. But I'm sure somebody's like, oh, you're driving into a corner the way I'm building this with paper walls, but, uh, but that's what we're doing for now. So just something quick. Cause I want to get to the stairs. I'm sure oh, yeah. we'll run out of time. Just trying to get all that done. Got to get to the good stuff, right? Yeah. Speaking of good stuff. Uh, if, Everybody doesn't already know, we just put out uh, SketchUp 2024, which is Ooh, our yeah. newest update on SketchUp. And there are a lot of really exciting uh, improvements, uh, things like ambient occlusion, ad location, uh, better performance, all that kind of stuff. And so if you, if you haven't already, go and download the uh, SketchUp 2024 update and check out all the all the new features on it because they're they're pretty awesome um do tell us uh surely a few of you will have tried uh what are your impressions about the new version um ambient occlusion i love it we'll we'll see it here we'll get to use it but just just the engine itself, just the engine that makes things faster. Um, it's pretty awesome. I got a people just know. what's that just i said got a people just joined us from france and bangladesh so hello did Bye they hello. hear about uh you mentioning the bullet train in france i don't know probably not Yeah, Ty says, if you had the address for the new site, you could have used ad location to bring in that cliff. No, yeah, that's, that's a fair point. Good 
<laughs> Sorry about that. My watch reminded me what time it was. You know what? Let's, uh, this is random, but let's dial this green down. <laughs> All right. What, uh, <clears throat> What color are we going to make this rock? Dune. Dune. Brown. <laughs> Dune tan. Is that a color? Kind right. of harkening back to a conversation we had before this live started. You said harkening. Dune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donovan and I were just we were just talking about Dune, about the movies, just before we, we got on. So who out there is anyone out there watch the movies and be like, meh, I've seen better. <laughs> I loved them. I absolutely loved them. Uh, I think Donovan, you loved the, the spectacle of it, but you, uh, you know that the, the story continues and gets pretty dark as, as anyone who will, who have read the books will know. So, uh, Remco is asking if there's a tree a free trial of SketchUp 2024 that you can try out. What do you know about that? Uh, what do I know about that? What do you know about that? Uh, there is a seven day free trial uh, of SketchUp 2024 for desktop, correct? If, That's correct. correct. If I'm wrong. Okay. Yes, yeah, seven day free trial uh, that you can get of SketchUp 2024 that you can get from the from the website. Yeah, definitely free trial. Um, also, the web version, the uh, free web version, it won't have extensions. It won't have a, some of the stuff, but you can learn all of the functionality on it. But to try out everything, the full layout, etc. Yeah, grab yourself a grab yourself a trial, please. Yeah. Won't have ambient inclusion or add location, but we'll have all the tools you need to start making some amazing models, like uh, like what Tyson's doing here. Igor says, I just paused watching Dune 2 to watch what's happening here. Ah. <laughs> let's uh let's uh, call this one done and go back to, to modeling the ornithopter that we were doing a few weeks ago. That was fun. Yeah. Somebody commented said kudos to Tyler to Tyson for using guides. Oh, I love guides. Who doesn't use guides? It'd be crazy. Crazy. Crazy, I say. I do. I love guides. All right. So I am looking over here at these stairs and they've got this one large beam that's supporting uh, the steps and then the railing comes out to the side. So I'm sort of building up towards what's going to be the most work, which is that railing. Unlike some cartoonish version of Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, I don't think we've ever done like an impressions off on 
in our team to see who can do impressions. I'm not saying I can do impressions. I'm just saying like that's something that uh, we as a team have never done. We have not. Um, I can give you a spoiler though. Matt, Matt can do. Matt does this this uh, pretty decent version of Doc from Back to the Future. Oh, <laughs> I have seen some of his shorts. Uh, so yeah, his some of the voices that he does are pretty. Uh, yeah, Ty says Matt hands down would win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. But that doesn't say you know we might try it. What? I don't have a, I don't, I don't know that I have any. Do you, Donovan? Do you have any that you're like, oh, my, my impression of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is uh, spot on. What's, what's yours? Um, uh, what is, when I was younger, I used to do, uh, what is his name? He played the uncle in the original Bewitched and he played the voice of the rat in Charlotte's Web. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I can picture Templeton. the Templeton. Templeton was the rat in Charlotte's Web. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I have no idea who his voice was. Uh the voice um uh Paul Lind. So Paul yes, Paul Lind. Thank you, Marty. So Paul Lind was an actor. <laughs> Nobody nowadays would know who he was, but he was a famous actor. Uh and he was the voice of Templeton in Charlotte's Web, and he was the the crazy uncle in bewitched that steve carell ended up playing in the will ferrell version <laughs> but he talks like this paul land he's the one that's like the fair is a veritable smorgasbord smorgasbord um so when i was younger i used to do paul land doing vincent uh, price doing uh what the mike thriller <laughs> so because you know what Vincent Price is, the, the dialogue from the, the music video thriller. Uh -huh. Vincent Price is like, darkness falls throughout the land. Midnight yeah. hour is close at hand. Yeah. So I, I would always do Paul Lynn. It's like, darkness falls across the land. <laughs> Midnight hour is close <laughs> at hand. <laughs> Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrify your grandma. <laughs> so, that's, so that's Paul Lynn's doing Vincent Price, doing thriller. <laughs> <laughs> nice again a reference that no, no that very few people would like know or pick up on or care about but that was one i used to do when i was younger when i worked at disney we had like everybody that that worked in the animation courtyard we would always try to do like our version of mickey or goofy or donald duck or you know all of the the famous characters especially when like people would come in to take tours of the animation studio just to you know have fun and play around with them and there were, there were some people that did that did really good good impressions i never did great i loved trying donald <laughs> Cause, but that that like sounds I just I could never get can never get it well enough to actually sound like Donald Duck a good Donald Duck because you're right like you can do some sort of squeaky uh, attempt but a good good one is is hard to do or if anybody anybody out there got uh Got their Donald Duck impression on point. <laughs> I haven't thought about Charlotte's Web since who knows when. That's a fun reference. It's uh, that's been a, that's well, I haven't thought of that in a while. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's see. Uh, somebody could remind me. I'm trying to remember a typical. I mean, we can make up whatever we want. A typical height for a railing. Somebody correct me. I'll make it 35 inches for now. Uh, 
and, and since this is residential and stuff, it, that the uh, actual specifications are probably a little different than if, you know, I don't know, than if it were in a commercial spot. Um, Some people said, but yeah, 30, Aaron said 36. 36 inches last, it's 36 inches last week. Some people are saying 36 to 42 inches, 90 centimeters. Imperial metric, depending on which way you want to lean. All right. Then by making this 35, I'll put a railing on top of it and we'll be pretty close. Carmine says the ADA handrails must be between 34 and 34 and 38. So, yeah. I am going to venture a wild guess that this is not fully ADIA compliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. Which for our purpose, like it doesn't technically need to be, but. No, yeah, right. Like, um, uh, would, would likely not be, uh, feasible in any sense that, that were strictly enforced on but we're uh, we're gonna make them that because that'll be a good spot. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Here, here's here's our. Uh, how are we gonna do? How are we going to to do this? Um, in any any version of a, an efficient matter. Ooh, uh, Alan says forty two inches high. If uh, oh, there's to walking surfaces below, but some people are talking about, you know, the fact that it is open and, you know, you've got to drop, right. You'd want it <laughs> higher. You'd want it. You'd, you'd want it higher. Mm -hmm. uh, it, which yeah. is understandable. So we'll make it higher. The, the question still is how do, uh, With, uh, I'm trying to think of um, how to approach this in a way uh, where we're not just you know taking each section and drawing it a new version each time. Is there some way to create a starting template that we can kind of use? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If, if anyone thinks of anything, I'm just going to start drawing something. I, uh, maybe we'll, we'll get an idea as we go. So for now, this will be something arbitrary. So we'll make it. Three foot six is our basic one. And Oh my gosh, I've been muted this whole time. <laughs> oh, were you saying something? Yeah, I was. People are, are chiming in saying things like make a component and then make it unique when needed. Profile, um, make separate straight and 45 degree versions. Um, you know, things like that. <laughs> but I was, I was talking to the air because I was on mute. <laughs> um, uh, 
right? Like if we make a straight version and, we, and I did use the same slope, uh, 45, it's not 45, but it, it will be something like 30. We, we can find it out. So we make a version like that. Um, and then make them unique as we go. It's probably certainly a good start. We'll start there for sure. Eric, Eric says nonlinear scale for unique components. What? What he said? <laughs> what? 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 What do you mean, my friend? You know what? Let's do this and. Uh... What do you mean nonlinear scale? No, I'm not sure what, uh, what that suggestion is. I don't know. He didn't follow up. <sighs> you just come in and leave us hanging and you're like, I'm out. Mike drop. <laughs> Figure it out, suckers. <laughs> Let's have a version of this here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Okay. Um, Do you? Cause I'm, I'm still not sure. <laughs> oh, Eric says scale the outside of the component to fit different areas. Oh, okay. I okay. Thank you. I gotcha. Stretch and squash. Ugh, does not want to snap. That's because I'm not on it. Uh, oops. Oops. Um, so, so the, the thing that, that makes me hesitant to, about that, I, I thought, what if... Okay, so what he's referring to, right, is that we could take this um, and do something like this, and then we could, from the outside of this, and we need to adjust the axis for the scale tool to work. From the outside of this, I could scale one of these separately from the rest, but there's a couple things. Yeah. And, and it may not matter because we wouldn't have to do it as drastically as I did this one, but, but, uh, it's, it's, it's this aspect of stretching the, some of the elements, squashing them, uh, out of proportion, whether that matters or not. I wondered about like, could we, we could build it such that all of the, horizontal or at least you know semi-horizontal are the same component and then we could stretch those but the width would be the same and we're stretching them along the axis so that'd be okay and then we could create the pillar components as their own and that would probably work i i think there is definitely something there to that suggestion so we we may still be able to to do something like that 
I don't know if any of that made sense, but <clears throat> yes. Um, but so I mean, Randy these... says the problem with that is that any materials applied would get distorted. True, that is very true. And my solution to that is I am terrible at applying materials, so. That's Eric's problem when he goes to render it, because I just paint the whole thing gray. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's see. see if we can maybe make that work eric says wait i'm rendering this <laughs> oh yeah absolutely hundo p you, you you're committed i'm not saving it and you are rendering it so so i'm gonna leave you the worst <laughs> <laughs> Peggy says you could have drawn a new component by now. <laughs> I could have drawn several new components by now. I'm 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 in blustered mode. <laughs> if anyone's familiar with that uh in fact, why did I I still need that a little bit maybe? I don't know. I I'm I'm stuck on this idea because you're, you're right. Like start drawing it by hand. Just, just start drawing each new version. You're absolutely right. Um, why, why try to out outsmart it when you could just go in and make it work? I think it's because I haven't fully, like I need to come back to the, the first one and kind of finish yeah. it out and be like, here's the amount of detail I'm going to put into this one. I don't want to, I don't, um, I don't want to build myself into a corner where I, I build a version that doesn't allow me to add detail later. So I need to know what that is. So let's make some decisions. <clears throat> let's make some decisions. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Have a great weekend. I know. And it says we're in the weeds on the side of the cliff. Uh, if I, if I, um, you know what I, it, it, if, uh, if, if not saving was a regular thing, maybe I'd have in, in our uh, screen recording software, I could just pop up a, oh no, you crashed. And I'm like, see, I crashed. Thank you. I'm out. It's like my fail safe, whether I crash or not. It's not me. Somebody says, make all the posts a component, make the panels another, make the assembly component, and then edit for each case. Agreed. And to go back to, I haven't decided on the detail, so I just need to dial that in. So let's 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 commit let's commit i'm going to uh, this is my way of uh 
discard this. I just want the placement. <laughs> Eric says, don't, <laughs> don't bail on the whole stream. Just the component idea. Nope, I'm bailing. You already gave me permission. I'm bailing. Ricardo said, this is not the real world. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I am doing whatever I want. I'm still. <laughs> yep, you are, you are correct. The problem is, um, just to... Uh, own up to what I'm doing. I'm I'm building that same thing out of like multiple components, which would allow me to have more flexibility later in editing it. I'm still not deciding because I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, there's some sort of frame mesh. Do I want to add sort of some of the interesting uh, connection details? I'm still delaying. Um, Igor says, at least I can see that I'm not the only one who gets himself hung up on an idea. Oh, seriously. Thank you. Cause no way. Like, yeah. I'm like, but what if I want to do it this way? What if, uh, so many things. All right. So we've got that. And I know. I just said I don't want to use materials and um, I want to be belligerent like that, but right now I need a transparent material to, for the mesh or I'll have to uh, commit to even more geometry. All right, we're gonna, we'll gonna leave it at that for now. Agra says, and the corners are going to be the next challenge. I know. I'm also avoiding those. <laughs> yes, they are. If anybody, I, I, this is this is the kind of stream where you don't come to learn anything. You just come for validation that sometimes you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what I want to do with this. I mean, right. it's looking good. It, it, it is looking good. No, it's not. Don't. No, it is. No, it's not. Don't pander. I'm not pandering. Pandering. It looks terrible, and we've got a lot to go. <laughs> I I just looked at the time. I didn't. Time flies when you're having fun, man. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> uh, it does. All right, I'm bailing out on that earlier idea. Let's see if we can make this one work. And um, Hagar says the contractor building that on site is going to need a grinder and a welder <laughs> <laughs> and a and a few things, just a few things. We make this one unique and then let's see this something like 
that that should give us did I group this whole thing did you I did I just don't remember doing that but I did that's okay So we'll make this one, let's see. Here's where it would have made sense since I was making up the stairs arbitrarily, if I had been thinking ahead, I would have made the same, some like, you know, I would have decided I'm gonna put a post every four steps and secretly I'll make each series of steps some variant of four. That way it would just work, but I didn't. I guess I still could, but I didn't. <laughs> um, but uh, in theory, so let's center this. I think I move this down two inches and then this one. Carta says no pressure. No pressure. Mod says just make the whole rail an array and copy the posts. Um, if I understand correct, like there's definitely some uh, validity to the suggestion of again just bail out and stop trying to make this an assembly. Just stop it. Just stop it just build the posts then come back in and build another and just build it out individually and you're right and uh i keep stubbornly trying to make this some sort of assembly that i'm gonna array instead of just building it uh Okay, but let, let's let's at least get uh, get this far. So we're gonna bring this up. Let's say is this on the outside? How am I doing this? It is. So if we have that and we have, did everybody bail? Because I, at this point, everybody should have bailed. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, they didn't bail. You still got an audience. People still are still here. Glutton for punishment, huh? Glutton for punishment. Well, I suppose if you enjoy the epic failure then then you are in for a good time <laughs> okay that's not right <laughs> i uh that's be <sighs> that's because it's it's i i was it's this post okay so we're we're exactly. fine yeah. we're fine but people are are encouraging you saying still here still here tyson you don't get off that easy i i guess i do i'm just gonna push the crash button ah oh you know oh okay i messed that up this is the center not that post that i use and so let's fix that and maybe Maybe we'll bring this to some semblance of home. This is what this is what what happens when I err in it. I I do not have his <laughs> his ability to just 
fly off the cuff. Come on, give me a... That's not the uh, reference that I want. Give me a guideline. I think in the green. No, because we're off here. So there. Who knows? Maybe the person that designed this spent just as much time on the posts. Oh, I have to presume they they spent a bit of time figuring out how to make those work. That's uh, I mean. If you're in the mood, it's kind of a fun, interesting challenge. All right. That's what I was trying to get to. Oops. So that we can take this and copy it up to all the rest and then start to work on them individually. So. <laughs> uh, Lauren says, Every I'm suffering from PTSD. Post <laughs> Tyson, stop drawing. I'm not sure how. You, <laughs> you, you never know how it's going to go on these lives. That's half the fun of it, right? Half the fun, half the pain, half of something. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, if uh, if this one if this one invokes some therapy some necessary therapy i both apologize for that and also uh what's it called when you watch something uh catharsis that's what it is catharsis maybe this is just catharsis for somebody I'm going to have to go in and customize all of these so much at some point that it's going to come up again. Oh, ugh, what am I doing? Well, anyway, it's going to come up again to be like, why? Why, did you, why didn't you just draw it and make individuals draw it as you go and make individual stuff as you go? And I need to make this a unique component. All right, let me undo so I can fix this one that I just messed up. And then paste in place. And so now that one will be unique. But I was messing up this one that we had just. I'm not even being consistent as I look at this. I'm like, <laughs> um, oh, this is, this is all kind. Whose idea was this? I know, right? Whose idea was this? They're, they're, oh, they're in the doghouse. Whose idea? Who picked <laughs> this model? It could not have been me. I would never uh. pick this. Who did it? Was it you, Donovan? I blame you. Let's just say next week we'll we'll have Aaron model Notre Dame again. This time <laughs> no saving as a follow up. All right, let's uh, see if this whole thing is going to work for me. Nice, good. At least something worked. Okay. <laughs> 
You hear that, Aaron? You're on for Notre Dame. Wahahaha. Igar says, you're doing great, Tyson. No worries. We all know that zone. <laughs> Immediately followed by Randy saying, leave it. <laughs> run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> At least we made all these stairs the same. Rise and run. And just flip them around. I had our, I did not even realize I had built all those into the, my house group. It's not a problem. I just didn't realize it. Um, Hmm. Yeah, and that's why I need to go around and check it. Uh, down. Okay. Okay. We're kind of getting there. Um, all right. <clears throat> I mean, if you squint your eyes and look at it blurry, like, <laughs> you know, it looks great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so do that. Everybody just be like, ah, look, I even had the fun of, uh, I didn't make those inside ones unique. So we're just, we're just, we're, we're, we're having fun here, making all kinds of mistakes. Why we're here? Yeah, um, it's why we do what we do. I don't, I don't feel like Randy it says ambient occlusion. Be. Ambient occlusion. That's right. <laughs> don't need to squint. We'll make it look better, right? That's right. Seriously, did I? I didn't even make a copy of that one down here. Like, I just moved it. It's like my hands aren't working at all. I'm going to go back to what I was just saying. Whose idea was it <laughs> to do this? Are you saying we need a better process for vetting ideas for lives? I'm saying when I come up with a bad idea, you need to say, that's a bad But the picture was so cool. But it was so cool. So cool. <laughs> but drawing it is going to be difficult. Don't do that. But it was so cool. Yeah. Yep. I should just go back to um, 
like <laughs> just making some more windows and frames and what's this call it? <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have a, any idea going into this that, you know, the majority of it would be railings. I know. Okay. I thought maybe. Actually, that could be our litmus test from now on. When you pr pr propose an idea, I'll be like, but is there railings? But. <laughs> Come back next week, and Eric will show you how to do this all right. I don't even know how where I put these in relation to the other ones. Anyway. <laughs> Is this one my component? No. Two hours just isn't enough time. Well, some people agree. And uh, if I really was, like I say a couple times, channeling Aaron, I could channel old school Aaron when the old ones were three to four hours. Yeah. Uh, saddle Leg it. Saddling. Legacy lives, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can fix a few of these mistakes I made. This one. First of all, I don't know why I'm. I probably grouped that. I'm just going to break this assembly apart, do the uh, uh, version of what Eric was suggesting <laughs> earlier. Uh, cheat a little bit to try to get something that we can get out of here with. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, if you want to give Tyson a hard time for spending so much time on railings in person. You can do that. Uh, we have an event coming up in Las Vegas in November called Dimensions. What used to be called 3D Base Camp for SketchUp is now called Trimble Dimensions. And if if you want to buy a ticket, come give Tyson a hard time about working on railings and you can, you can do it in person. We'll all celebrate his misfortune together. Uh, so come, come hang out with us. Deven dimensions in November in Vegas. It is the absolute best place to come around and you're right. Just be like, what were you thinking? Transom suggests, Hey, why don't you see what uh, diffusion does? because <laughs> we are we are running out of time <laughs> we certainly are that's a great suggestion let's find out what diffusion does um i'm gonna temporarily group this um the uh it is we it's we still it is still base camp. It's now base camp at dimensions, but at least for now, we get to still uh, have it as base camp. Um, but there actually there there should be some really interesting stuff for anyone who's ever never been to uh, Trimble Dimensions because Trimble has so many different tools and. Um, 
and the the scanning and the technology used in heavy construction and in other industries that are um, not not as associated with SketchUp really are fascinating. There's some there's some pretty amazing stuff out there. Yeah, kind of going back to scanning, like we were talking about at the the beginning of this, the the scanning technology that will be on display at that convention will be probably mind blowing. Um, if we hide this, toggle on shadows. I need to turn shadows off from the ground. more like that Peggy says rail against the abuse Tyson you do you <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna say rail against the machine uh, you know well rage against the machine reference um, Here. Ambient occlusion. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> See, now you don't need to squint. How did you do that? I wish. <laughs> I definitely, definitely had ambitions to have uh, a little bit better uh, details uh, and gone farther than this, but oh well, that's how some that's of them right. go. No. That's how no. some of them go. Oh well. You. Johnny five says on a serious note, railings are hard to detail properly and they take time. Tyson is doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, I do appreciate that. And you are right. And was probably too ambitious with this one. A <laughs> uh, little, little too ambitious thinking. I, I Did anyone ever respond? I, I would be curious if, you could do a decent, at least mock-up with Profile Builder. Because Profile Builder, if you haven't seen it or used it, you know, let, you would build, it's kind of, uh, it's it's a bit of, uh, um, why, why is my mind, mine doesn't want to work at all right now. Um, parametric, but you build your assembly and you give it certain characteristics. So I, I, I don't think you're limited to saying, you know, it has to meet every four feet. It, ha it, it can adjust based on the points. But if we had this, I think it would do a decent job. And uh, that's, that's why I had hoped to... Uh, <clears throat> to try it, but I like I said, I didn't, didn't get my head wrapped around it. It's all right. Uh, such it is. Johnny Five says, yes, I've done it for railings and fence runs. And, and you think it probably would work in this case? Because I, I think it would. <laughs> He says it takes a bit to set up the arrays properly. Yeah. CJ says it would have taken a full two hours just to build the assemblies. <laughs> That's good to know. I, I do wonder about that. Like, really good if you really do have to detail a lot of stuff but maybe not worth so that's good to get some thoughts on that thank you uh 
Um, well, at this point, I'm just trying to clean up a few corners, but th this is as far as we're going to get. Uh, this is definitely not, not what I had hoped. I'd hoped to get farther. Oh, well, sometimes that happens. It is what it is. It is what it is. I was just desperately. Peggy says, could Tyson do a video card next time? Oh, do you know what he's referring to? Uh, nope. He's trolling. Do I know what he's referring to? He's trolling so hard. Keggy. Thought we were friends. <laughs> what he's referring to is Aaron is, is another one of Aaron's greatest hits. So it's actually he's trolling. Aaron a little more than me, but um, the Aaron thought doing a graphics card like you know it's got a lot of little pieces and and a lot of pieces that you repeat and it might be interesting, but it turned into just kind of this super monotonous, uh, doing the same tiny little detail over and over and over, over again, and over. yeah, forever and um, definitely not one of his uh one of the ones that he's too thrilled about so um yeah no okay. I, I i will not be doing that <laughs> nope no 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 video cards for you keggy And all of these references that I'm like, I don't think my kids would understand any of these. Johnny Five, No Soup for You, Charlotte's Web. <laughs> I'm at that age where I'm starting to say things like, I'm at that age. <laughs> <laughs> where my pop culture references get blank stares. Oh, two is what I think. You know what? Let's go in. Man, it's ambient inclusion does make the model look pretty dope, considering like how oh, simple of a thing. Agreed. It it does. It's like, why is that? Why does my my terrible uh, actually look half decent? Thank you, Ambient Occlusion. Thank Dev Team. Um, obviously, it's going to take a lot more to uh, finish out some of these corners. So I'm, not, I'm just not going to drag everybody through it. We'll just be like, yeah, well, you're going to fall off from up here. You're going to fall off from here. This is a safety hazard. and <laughs> But we did something that we did <laughs> we did something we did something uh and and uh i we learned a valuable lesson do not do rails <laughs> <laughs> oh well it looked fun it looked interesting uh more than than uh, the tackle here, though. I want to find a view that be like this looks okay and hides my. But no, well, that's it. <laughs> we'll call it. <clears throat> oh well. Thanks everyone. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, in the encouragement. Uh, this. Uh, I still, I, ah, oh man, I, it's still in my head. Like how, how it may have been just better to like, like some of you suggested, just muscle through each segment on its own and stop trying to be too clever with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's what I thought would be interesting about this one. And I 
don't think we cracked it, but that's, that is the piece that I thought, how could we do this in an effective way? Um, and now we know, and it's without more time, it's not this one, but with more time, I, I think it's just, I, this one just, it, it's a lot of details. It's just going to take more time than, uh, than we want to spend on it. So. Dub says so it's it. legal to save now. <laughs> oh, we did. We did. We lived dangerously. We made it through. Yep. <laughs> are you, are you going to call this one Donovan? Watch Tyson flounder for two hours. Watch. Uh, I, I will totally put that as the title of this. If, if you want me to, I and, don't uh, we can want this one happen. to exist. <laughs> Watch Tyson make railings. Good grief. Good grief. Oh, well, let's go back to thanks everybody. And I really, really do hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I believe Eric next week will be, um, I don't know. Is he still around? Uh, yeah. I don't know if he was going to be showing some of the new layout and, um, portals. what's that? Portals. Oh, oh, I, let's let's keep an eye out for uh, or it might be on the forum i don't know if there's a link eric part of base camp whether you go or not is that you can submit a design that is going to be uh for vr or full xr creating a portal that you would sort of like you know you're just looking at a wall you put the vr on and all of a sudden it's this amazing magical portal to whatever but the uh, the the elaborate entryway portal i believe is what the contest is this year so give that a try eric is going to be drawing up some version of that so that should be fun uh, uh much less painful than this one <laughs> uh, so yeah check that out next week otherwise thanks donovan thanks for for <laughs> carrying the torch and uh thank you all again have a have a great weekend we'll see you next time see ya <laughs>